Here we go. Ladies and gents, we're here. It's time to visit Animal Crossing Wild World on Nintendo DS. Wow, what an old game. 15 years. 15 years on this one. It's going to be pretty fun, so thanks so much for coming. My name's Abdallah, and we've been on this Animal Crossing marathon for quite some time. We're going through playing all the main series Animal Crossing games, and let me tell you, I still have my old game from 2005. It's going to be pretty crazy, so thanks so much for coming. Uh, hands up in the comments if you guys have played Animal Crossing Wild World. Let's see those hands. I know that this game truly is one of the first games that I spent so many hours on. I would honestly say I spent the most time on this variant of the game. Not even New Leaf compares to the amount of time I put into this game. It was awesome. This was like right around when I graduated high school and it was just the coolest thing, man. I sat around all day and played Animal Crossing. It was great. Anyway, thanks so much for coming. Uh, let's explore it. Let's, uh, let's do anything. And uh, I promise you, I have not touched this save file in 15 plus years. So it's going to be something brand new. I have no idea who's in this town. I have no idea what my house looks like. So I'm super excited. And if you guys are excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons, make sure you guys are subscribed. We're going to be playing that game every day. And I want you guys on board. So here we go. Hello, you came to play, did you? I did. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm playing on my Nintendo 3DS because you can actually play DS games on it. So we're good. Yeah, I did come to play. I'm going to continue. Wow, the frame rate is insane. Oh my gosh! What? Hold on, hold on. Did I play this game with Jess back in the day? Oh, if that's the case, that's awesome. <laughs> How crazy is that? I didn't even remember that. Oh yeah, look at this cool dude. The town's name is Ultra. <laughs> I I can't I don't even know. I don't even, don't even ask. 15 years ago, man, I don't know what the heck was going on. But, the town was ultra, and look, I got a four-leaf clover. I got a four-leaf clover on my head. That was super lucky to find, by the way. I have a cool-looking shirt. I don't know what's going on, but preparation's complete. Have fun in ultra. <laughs> ultra. <laughs> Yo, the bottom screen is the main focus here. How did I not know that? I thought it was Animal Crossing where the other way around. All right, let's fix some stuff because that's bogus. <laughs> wow, I'm going to fix this on the fly. Like, trust me. See, that's I, I told you I wouldn't look into this game or else I would have prepared this differently. All right, here we go. Let's fix this because that is a tiny baby screen. And I don't think we even need the top screen, to be honest. So we're going to do a little bit of this. Check this out. Wow, man, that's a tiny baby screen. Give me this right here. I'm going to take this top screen and I'm going to like put it on top of everything and it's going to be gigantic. Yeah, that's way better. What in the world? All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, like on the fly just fixing this. <laughs> Look at this guy. Hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I got this, I got this. 3DS top screen is going to go above the layout. Wow, that's interesting. Let's trim this a little bit here. Uh -huh. Trimming that a little bit. That's a big screen. All right, deal, deal. Okay, I'm liking this so far. And then we're just going to go over here. Just like that. Done. Look at that. We fixed it. I'm just going to adjust it here. And boom, that's your town. <laughs> How crazy. Okay. Um, what a weird game. Okay, so I tried to make a cool fancy layout, but that obviously didn't work out for me. So we're going to do this. Yo, this is huge. Look at how pixelated. Now keep in mind that this is the this is the straight bottom screen of Animal Crossing. How crazy. Okay. Uh, well, here we are. Um, what do we even start with? Okay, what do you guys want to see first? I guess that's... Wow, look at that! Cool pattern! Who do we have in our town? Kid Cat, Pudge, Bunny, Ruby, uh, Tangy, Chief. Yo, see, we had Tangy and Chief in this game. 
And if you guys remember from Animal Crossing on GameCube, I also had Tangy and Chief. And I had Bob. Like, these are the super flagship characters. And Bunny's flagship. I don't know who Ruby or Pudge is, but Kid Cat's also very flagship. So, oh, this is so cool. And look at my awesome little patterns here. Look at this game. Did this game even age well? Wow, the Able Sisters, Gyroids right outside of the Nookingtons. Look at all these fruit trees. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm down. Maybe we might pick up, um... This was the best game. I don't know what you're even talking about. Whose house is this? Yo, Money Rock, Chief's house. Oh, man. Okay, here we go. So, you know what? We can go visit the villagers later on. I think it's time to actually take a look at my inventory. Um, how do you even look at inventory? Whoa, whoa, okay. Um, looking here... I have a four-leaf clover I can plant. I've got a watering can. I've got tropical vista. I got a tall gongoid. I've got some uh, lovely phone, tympanoid, and red cosmos. Don't ask me why I have this stuff. Uh, we got a certificate. I guess I should use the touch screen, right? That was the whole gimmick right here, right? Present. You can like click and drag. Present. Oh, that's where my shovel was. Yeah. Okay. So look, look. I was like that next level, uh, next level character. Is golden cans. Yo, I played this. Red. I don't care about red. So this is where I had... I don't I don't know if there was a golden net. Maybe if you, like, caught all the bugs or something like that. Uh, this is not a golden fishing rod. And then this? What's inside here? Oh, it was a golden slingshot. Okay, so I did do work. Enough work to get a couple golden tools here. So very, very interesting. So from red... Um, yeah, I was putting all my tools up top over there. I don't really care from red... This is crazy. Okay, so another password thing. This is from the town hall. What is the town hall saying? Oh, thank you for using the post office bank account. You earned 99,999 bells for 30 days of interest. I mean, I was I was honestly the billionaire in this game. Like, I, I totally did it. And I don't know if you guys remember, way back in, like, 2005, there wasn't, like chat rooms maybe there was like a chat room or something but like you had to go on message boards in order to find people that played the game on the internet it was crazy uh this is from the town hall another yep yep another interest payment oh this is so good and then hra how much did we score a hundred thirty four thousand i don't know what that compares to like the gamecube version where we got like seventeen thousand. but that ladies and gents your room gets that much. This is the perfect room. Oh, I've played this game so well. All right, what else we got? Another certificate? Toss? No, 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 we're going to keep it. What is it? Oh, this is interesting. The uh, Gracie got to pay her respects to the only true fashionista. What? Well, what happens with that? From Tom Nook. Congratulations, you earned that. Oh, you're now a platinum member? Okay. <laughs> oh, all right. I don't, I don't know anything about that. Alright, so what is this? This is what the Critter catalog looks like. For those of you guys who haven't seen it, you got a little scroll bar and you can see all the things that you've caught in the world. So that's pretty great. And then you can click on it and then learn about everything. Uh, seven and a half foot tuna, that's great. So the Critter catalog over here is the exact same thing with all the different bugs. So I don't know if I caught... No, I didn't really catch a lot of different bugs. Uh, this one is... Oh, yeah! Okay, so Animal Crossing Wild World was one of the first games to incorporate actually chatting with people in real time once people came over to your town. You use this, like, little online Nintendo service, and you would type out... You would type out hi, or whatever, um, and then you can, like, see everyone's text, and then you can, like, chat with people. It was so, so, like, groundbreaking, where you can go to people's houses. Because remember... If you travel back in time to 19 years ago with the first Animal Crossing, the only way you can go and visit other people's towns is if you were sitting right next to them. This game revolutionized that, and you can go online to people's towns and talk and stuff. It's crazy and, like, borderline creepy sometimes. But anyway, so that was cool. What else do we have over here? With the house? Okay, so that's the map. And then this is, um, Friend Roster. Whoa. Dang, look at this. So imagine if any of these people were still around. No clue who they are. Uh, when I added all these people, it was like, yo, are you selling turnips at a really, really high price? All right, I'm adding you. I'm coming over. Like, these aren't people that I actually played with. 
So imagine, imagine these people in the world where you're like, oh man, look at that Nintendo WFC. Wi-Fi connection. I think that's what it was called. Oh man, that's so crazy. All right, anyway, what do you guys say? Should we go look at our house? All right, let's go look at our house. Here we go. This is my mansion, by the way. What is it? I have no idea what my house looks like. Okay, besides the roaches. Okay, yeah, forgive the roaches. The roaches look a little bit better than they did in the GameCube version. Squish, but they do jump over you. Get over here. Okay, so I hear some of you guys are obsessed with Froggy Chair. I don't know what that's all about. I should honestly get rid of this thing. But this is my town. This is my this is my entire room here. So as you guys can see, again, with the feng shui of the game, because you want to manipulate RNG, you put the, uh, the red stuff all the way on the east side, you put the yellow stuff all the way on the west side, and you put the green stuff all the way to the south in order to maximize your RNG within the game. You know, all the different, like, presents that float in the air and Gulliver showing up and, like, UFOs and stuff like that. So this was exactly that. So, of course, we had some, like, gold stuff over here. I got some trophies from doing, like, uh, like fishing or something. Here's a table. Um, you can see that I've got the fire bar, which is, like, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. You can pretend to get chased by it. Ah, I'm gonna lose a lot. Oh, no! There was a roach under it! Yuck! Oh, man, what are they? I don't want to pick up stuff. All right, um, how do I, yeah, this is the menu. So I picked up something. It wasn't a lovely phone. It was this, it was a hand cart, place and room. It was probably red, right? Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so you guys remember, you guys remember that. All right, so super cool, roaches all over the place. Uh, where do you guys wanna go? You guys wanna go see the back room, upstairs, downstairs? Do we even have side rooms? You, We've got the full, the full tour. I'm gonna give it to you guys, wherever you guys wanna go. We're gonna go check it out. All right. We're gonna go over here to the, the back room. We're gonna go to the back room first. And this, oh my gosh. Okay, so please excuse the roaches. I mean, like I haven't been here in 15 years and the roaches just pretty much live here now. So as you guys can see, this is my back room. It's not really that big, as you guys can see. It's not that big, but um, you can press the X button and you can kind of look around. So you can see that I had an extra Tyrannosaurus Rex. I did, and I put it inside the house, which is really awesome. And then I got a Spaceman costume. And then someone's gotta do laundry, right? You gotta have a laundry somewhere. So uh, there was laundry. I had a little light over here that I could turn on and turn off. I think these may or may not be black roses. I don't know, but yeah. And then we had like a little couch here where you could just chill and hang out. I remember like when I went online, like people would all come over to my house and just look around. This is the coolest thing, right? Anyway, so I like this the little skylight, right? It looks like we're we have like a nice skyline of Chicago or something. That was cool, right? Oh anyway. So that's the back room. Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? You gotta be cool like that. If you're gonna flex any dinosaur fossil, it's absolutely gonna be the T Rex, am I right? Get this roach! Get over here! Okay, anyway. Gonna, oh, dude, and there was another bug under it. Y'all, I hope they really get rid of roaches in um, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I really hope they do. Because that would not be fun. But I can see why they do it, you know? Because it's like, yo, you don't want roaches in your house. You better come over here and uh, visit every day. Eh. Anyway, bothering me. Okay, here we go. We're going to go check out the this room over here. No clue what's inside it. Oh, cool. Yo, this is the precursor. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, okay, so what's this thing called? Do you guys remember this? I know it was like a Gulliver item, but you could click on it and it does like stupid stuff. And then if you listen really carefully over here, you can hear like the Arwing tune. Should I turn it up a little bit for you? Yeah, here we go. Right, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Right? Didn't it do something? It, it, a weird room. A weird room, nonetheless. Alright, so I think it made some, like, Star Fox noises of some sort. I don't know. But, um... Yeah. I guess that's a thing. Okay, you guys can see my crown over here. As you can tell, the crown looks pretty awesome. Hey, Melissa, welcome. 
Uh, Melissa Jade, everyone, in the comments, be sure to welcome a brand new member. Thank you. We're going to be doing a lot of members exclusive stuff with the new Animal Crossing. So now's the time to jump on board uh, with membership. We're going to do so much. So yeah, Melissa, make sure that you give me that friend code on uh, Switch when we're getting ready to play the game. But anyway, um, you can see in this room that um, if you take a look really close, we have the, we've got a Metroid over here, which was really awesome. So yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys all hype up our brand new member. Thank you so much. But yeah, we got a Metroid. And then we've got like a floating sword. If I remember that, yeah. And then the R-Wing does its own thing. And then I've got Tom Nook and KK Slider picks over there that I remember earning. It was it was crazy cool. And then we've got both of the different crowns in the game. You can see like the it's like the regal crown, and you got like a little princess crown. I just decided to, you know, throw them over there. And then I think we had like a full a full family of gyroids. So it's kinda like cool ambient music, right? They just make their own little sounds. Kinda cool. All right, let's go to the next room. Which one's this one? Couldn't tell you. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah, this is it. This is what I talked to you guys about before. Yeah. Um, this is exactly what I talked to you guys about. So here's the thing, right? In order to become the billionaire that I was, there was a little exploit that you can do in Animal Crossing Wild World where you can fill up your entire house with tables and you can play the stock market. It was the coolest thing. So what you did was you purchased um, all of these turnips, right? Whenever Joan was in town on Sundays or whatever, you would buy super, super low, right? Maybe like 50, 60 bells a pop. And then the beauty about this was that there was like message boards, like game FAQs or something like that back in 2004, where people would say, hey, you know what? They're selling turnips, or sorry, they're buying the turnips for like 500 bucks, come on in. So then it's like, oh dude, that's awesome, let's go. And then whoever's hosting the room would usually like say, hey, just drop me 10K at the door as soon as you come in, as like, so that they can actually benefit from hosting the room for people. So I had all these turnips, I think, honestly, let's look at this, how many are in this pack? Yeah, it's a 10 turnup pack, I th oh, for like 100, Times 10, I don't know, is that 100 times 10? Let me grab the other one. I don't know. Yeah, so that's max. That's all you can stack on a particular turnip. So we did 100 turnips. And that was crazy cool. So if they were selling at 500 a pop, you would easily make so much money off of that. So man, it was crazy back in the day. So I put that over there. I don't want to put it on the floor, but you have to put it on a table. If you didn't put it on a table, then it would get, it would mold and you'd lose out on it. So I really hope that the whole stock market is going to be insanely cool. Can you just put that on the table guy? What the heck? I don't, I don't know why he's not putting it on a table. Hold on. What is it? Place in room. It's directly in front of me. Okay. I don't know how to do that anymore. All right, it's gonna be in my pocket now. <laughs> anyway, so this is my turnip room, as you can see that, and then I can rotate whenever I wanted to put like a turnip on said table. So maybe that's what I had to do. Interesting. So I don't know if you guys knew this, but that's exactly how I made my millions in uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. This friend, Wild World. <laughs> it was great. Um, so I look forward to doing that again in the near future with Animal Crossing New Horizons. I will absolutely do it. So here's a picture. I don't know what the heck that is. That's a picture of Chief, my favorite villager. And if you guys are going to ask me who's my favorite villager, Abdallah, that's absolutely Chief. Who's my favorite animal in Animal Crossing? I think some of you guys more recently know. Uh, right over here is another little trophy I just put on there. I don't know why I can't put things on the table anymore. Um, maybe I'm just not doing it right. But a couple no more Nintendo items. Little bit of Legend of Zelda link to the past. So awesome. Da na na na. There we go. Dude, I'm actually curious now. Like, why can't I put this on the table? I put that one back on the table. Weird. Whatever. <laughs> I won't save. Um, so anyway, so that was my that was my turn up room. I don't know if I have another turn up room. I may. Oh yeah, yeah, you bet your money. You bet your money I do. <laughs> 
I was so in the turnip business. It was not even funny. Not even funny, man. Look at this. So if these are 100 turnips a pop, you better believe I, I would stuff my entire inventory. 5, 10, 15. I don't know if you could put turnips inside these. Let me see. No, you can't. So I do 5, 10, 15 times 100, 1,500 turnips times people sell it at like buying at like 500 bells a pop. You just do the math on how many bells that is. So it was so good back in the day. So that's exactly what uh, that was all about. So the, here's, an, here's even more tables. And then I would honestly just take this all out, stuff my pockets, go into the someone's town. I'd drop them like a 99K bell bag to, as a way of saying thanks. And I'd sell the rest. Oh, so good. So good. Um, hey, here's uh, Ryan coming on board as a member. Hey, welcome to it. I hope you uh, are going to be excited for Animal Crossing New Horizons as I am. But no, this is actually really cool. So I'm I'm super pumped about these turnips, man. I don't know if I'm honestly the only one that did this though. That's the thing, right? I don't I don't honestly know. Um, I'm gonna attempt one more time. Grab place in room. Yeah, it just goes on the floor. I don't I don't know. I I I'll have to play this game a little bit more to figure it out. Okay, and then this is the top floor where you can switch characters. So, I honestly don't remember. I think I may have lent Jess my Nintendo DS. And I said, hey, here's a, here's a cool game for non-gamers that you might like. It's called Animal Crossing. And Jess didn't really play video games. But I said, you know what? It's not, you don't need to actually know how to play video games. I don't know. Do you guys kind of think that? Because Animal Crossing appeals to a more casual audience. Uh, people who are hardcore gamers like myself will take and run aspects of it. Um, so that's kind of what I did. I'm like, hey, you want to play Animal Crossing? It'd be cool to, you know, share something. And we totally did. So yeah, that's my room, ladies and gents. Pretty cool, huh? What did you guys think of the turnips? Did you guys like that? Let me know what your favorite part was in the comment section. And uh, we'll talk about it. That was fun. That was really fun. Okay, so let's open this mail here. Although... I have a lot of mail that's just in my pocket right now. I don't know what's going to be here. You can't hold any more letters want to toss some. You know what? We'll toss a couple of them, right? Why not? Uh, let's toss a few using my uh, touch screen over here. This is a certificate. Uh, we can indeed toss this one. We can toss this one. Um, your garden ha has left us completely speechless. All right, thanks, Tortimer. I'm the mayor next time. Or am I? All right, so we're going to toss this one. We're going to toss this one. Sorry, Tortimer. I'm not going to save any of this stuff. We're going to we're gonna hear from Mr. Rossetti soon. So here we go. So this is reading. Oh, you can read it right here. You don't have to put it in. Uh, thank you for the post office. You get interest, of course. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to go to the post office to see how much money I have. Uh, this is from Red. Uh, okay, don't really care about red. This is from Tom Nook. Oh, cool. I delivered an... I ordered another R-Wing. I don't know why. Maybe I must have ordered it for someone, and then... I guess they just never did it. So here we go. This is my, uh, my perfect room because of, like, the feng shui and, and everything that I got. So we got massive points for that. So that's kind of cool, I guess. So thank you, everyone, for that. The fact that there's a touch screen is game changing, by the way. You could type with the touch screen rather than like the clumsy other things. All right, so let's take a look at the map. Uh, let's see. So the shop, let's see. The town hall, museum, tailor, main gate. Where's the post office? Is there a shop? Tailor, town hall is towards the middle, museum, main gate. Uh, maybe it's inside the town hall? I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, so since we're here, let's go say hi to the Able Sisters. And let's see what exactly is new with them in Animal Crossing Wild World. Hey, welcome to the Able Sisters, where you are the fashion designer. Okay, yeah, I, I guess I am the fashion designer. Nice to see you. Okay, so this is more along the lines of custom patterns again. Okay, and then they do have some, some patterns on board. And you can see their pictures on the wall are the same, I believe, if not added. You guys would have to 
to take a look at my previous episode and see what they are. They look a little different, like they added one more. Like what happened in the four years of Animal Crossing? Like I, you see the marriage one, you see the snowman one, you see I think you see the birthday cake one. Who's Reginald? What's the lore? I wasn't reading what you're saying. And Esther? Who's Reginald and Esther? Oh, this is a TV show they watch? So you can see over here that Sable is like really opened up to me. And if you guys are going to be playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, you want to be able to talk to Sable every single day just so that you can get um, her to just kind of open up and maybe you get her picture. But this is, uh, this is pretty interesting. There's even more pictures on the wall over there. Uh, there's a, yeah, you can, oh, what is this? You're looking at a crown. The price is one million bells. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can do it. I got all these turnips here. You know, that's, that's pocket change. Uh, could I try it on? Whoa, crown looks cool, huh? Dang, thanks, but no. Now, nah, forget that baby crown. We want the big boy crown. All right, so these are my, uh, these are my, um, my patterns. Don't I have patterns available in my thing here? Yeah, I had some really good patterns, mind you. Look, look at these beautiful patterns. All hand typed, right? There was no camera. There's no QR codes in the DS version. Look at this. Yo, look at this Metroid. Really killer, huh? Look at this Mario. Look at this Triforce. It looks 3D almost. And then that was uh, Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, little pixel link. It was good, man. This is really, these are really cool. Link. I could totally put a Triforce shirt on. Look at that, man. I can put like a Link shirt on. There's some good patterns, man. And look at this, the Legend of Link. Boom. Or I can be the Mar Super Mario 3 with the clouds. Dude, it was awesome. So anyway. <laughs> so you can talk to Sable and you can do all sorts of patterns if you really want to. All right, great to see you. Come back soon. So that was another customization option. I don't remember, honestly, if you can trade patterns with other people, but that was cool back in the day. All right, so what else do we have over here? Uh, we have a whole bunch of fruit trees. This is my little orchard. And remember, the pro tip uh, is making sure that you fill the entire area in and around nooks with, um, with all the foreign fruits, right? I think my native fruit was uh, cherries over here. I don't, I don't remember. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look around. Oh man, this is actually cool. I wanna go into Nookingtons and see what's up. So we do have a shovel. Oh, sweet. So I don't need the watering can. We're gonna put that there. I don't need the fishing rod. I don't need the net. And I don't need the golden slingshot. And we have all this other trash that's in here that I don't necessarily need, but I'm gonna put on my four leaf clover for sure. So anyway, all right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, here goes this piece. I guess I can dig it up. What do you know, it's a gyroid. Great. Who buried that in my town? All right, let's go into Nookingtons. Let's say hi to Tom Nook. And let's see how different his store is from the previous version. Welcome, welcome. Please feel free to look around. Take your time. Is it any new? It looks almost carbon copy. Whoa, hold on. You had someone... Is that where Harriet moves in? No way. A message in a bottle is a new concept. A timer is a new tool? I don't know. But, okay, so look in this Nookingtons, and you got Harriet, right? The little poodle that does makeovers? Oh, man, that's Shampoodle. Oh, my, I, I'm remembering this, I guess. Uh, oh, yes, my hairdresser's intuition. You'd like a new do, Shug. That's cool. So this is where you go through and then you can do a new hairstyle. All right, it'll be a piece of cake. Should we do a new? Yeah, how about shampoo cut and style for 3,000 bells? Yeah, let's go. Do you get to pick and choose? Now be a deer and wait for me in that seat in front of the mirror. Okay, I like my little spiky hair. All right then. I'll need to take these things off your head before I get started. Well then, sugar, in order to give you a style that reflects the true you, I'm going to ask you a few questions first. So it's based off of questions. Interesting. All right. I guess I'll answer them truthfully. 
and you guys can answer them at home too. When do you, uh, when do you want your style to really come alive? Big nights or every day. I mean, yeah, you style your hair every single day. You might as well. Oh yes, I get it. You want a low fuss style to match your low fuss life. Yeah, I do. That's right. Yes, you definitely strike me as the outdoorsy type. Oh man, do you like the sun? How does it make you feel? Warm, I love the warm sun. I don't complain about being sweaty in the sun. No way, I love the heat. All right, one question to ask you. If you were rushing to get to the salon and someone were to call you, what would you do? Grin and say hi if I'm rushing to the salon? I mean, I'd probably say hi. Like, yo, I'm on my way to Harriet's right now. Like, I, I can't really talk, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. You're the kind of person that makes others happy. In the beautiful in the beauty business, we call you the warm type. Okay? So about the color. What did you have in mind, sweetie? We could do some warm colors. Sure. I mean, I am a warm type. All right. Here we go. Look deep into... Uh, what kind of hair does your true self have? Ooh. Safe, lighthearted, fiery, flirty. Something else. Oh, so you're looking for something cooler, huh? Leave it to me. Sometimes warm colors don't match up with their vision. Why don't you think about it again and ask what your true self has? Mysterious, young, lush, radiant. All right, you guys choose this part. I'll let viewers pick this one. I have no idea what, what's going to come out of this. Young, right? I was playing this when I was an infant. Okay, so there's only eight options. Safe, lighthearted, fiery, flirty, young, the other thing, the other thing. Uh, let's see, who's all doing it? A lot of you guys say, are saying young. Is that because I kind of said young beforehand? Radiant? Uh, Light-hearted? Mm, fiery, radiant? Mm, yeah, a lot of people are saying young. I don't know what young means. Because uh, I'm like super young. Alright, here we go. Young. Right, exactly. That's exactly what I mean, sugar. So, without further ado, let me begin your transformation. This will take a moment, so hold still. Oh my gosh. That's everything besides warm. Blue is a cool color. What's wrong with you? Okay, well, ladies and gents, we got blue hair. Because blue is a warm color, apparently. Way to go, Harriet. All right, I got my hair, dude. So let's go. Hey, what's up, Tommy and Timmy? Okay, so we're here on Tommy and Timmy, and they have their shop like usual. Pretty cool. You can buy uh, your daily wares of uh, different carpets, different uh, furniture items, and that's pretty much it. I wonder if you could talk to them and like maybe input some codes, right? So you want to sell... Oh, turnip prices. What are you guys selling for? 55 bells? No way. Absolutely not. That's unfortunate. Dang. How can we help this fine day? Uh, catalog, please. Abdallah, this is a catalog created with you in mind. If there's anything you would like to order, please let us know. Okay, so what's in the catalog today? So this is, again, uh, with touchscreen here. So what do we have? Oh, so the top screen shows you what it looks like. All right, that's kind of lame. So that's kind of what the... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, I saw Master Sword over here. R-Wing. I mean, there's some. There's just a whole bunch of stuff. Like, you can get, like, the wallpaper. You can get the rugs, the shirts, umbrellas, caps, paper, gyroids, and then um, your, your basic stuff, right? Everything that you've collected, that's your catalog. So, kind of cool. Honestly, don't care too much about it. But the code functionality in the game has been completely removed from what it looks like. Remember, in Animal Crossing on GameCube, you can talk to Timmy Tommy and they're like, yo, you got a code for us? And it's like a 16 digit, 32 digit code with like uppercase, lowercase, everything. And then you can literally spawn every single piece of furniture from those codes. You guys can look it up on Google. But that is oddly removed here, unless I'm missing it somewhere. That's interesting. So the value of items in this game, since you have the ability to trade, um, with people over the internet is way higher. Because look, if you could just spawn in any item, like then the value is next to nothing. Oh, I could just input that code if I really wanted to. So you know what? I like that. I'm, I'm super happy about that. It's cool, man. All right, so that is Nookingtons, and we got ourselves some blue hair. Do not ask me why, but we did. 
And uh, let's look around over here, shall we? I'm honestly curious if there is a money tree. I, You know I am. I don't honestly remember if I knew back in the day if there was such thing as a money tree in this game. But you guys remember the money tree, right? I taught you guys about that prior. Come on, blue hair. Nope. I have no clue where all my rocks are either. So this is going to be like, hey, if I see a rock, I'm going to try to hit it. All right, so let's sift around. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, oh. Let's sift around over here. I don't know if weeds affect whether or not you're going to get the bags of money. No way. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so moving on. What is this? This must be the town hall. Let's go in. I got to knock on the door with my gold shovel first. All right, let's see what's here. Okay, if it isn't, Pelly and... Oh, you got two different things. So this is the post office. Okay, uh, you can mail a letter. You can pay a mortgage. You can access your account or save a letter. Guys, did I... Do you guys think I saved any letters in Animal Crossing Wild World? What is this? Why do they have presents attached? What? What is this? <laughs> is this storage? Did I use this as storage? Interesting. Okay, so I would use the saved letters as additional storage in the game. And for some reason I was storing gyroids? Dear future me, a, a rhythmoid. Weird. Wh why would I need to store gyroids? You know what? Okay, hold on, hold on. Maybe, here's the thing, maybe back then, 15 years ago, there was a, um, maybe there, the gyroids are just so rare, you couldn't reorder them, so there was value in gyroids, if people were trying to collect an entire thing. Dude, that's actually really cool, what a way to manipulate storage in the game, okay. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone kept them because you can't reorder them. And then I utilize the storage right over here in the saved spots. So there's a letter from Jess. Should we read it? <laughs> Should we read Jess's letter? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Why in the world did she read? She wrote me one letter. What do you think? Should we do it? <laughs> Let's see what it says first. <laughs> oh, oh man, no, just didn't write me a letter. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> All right, so we're out of here. Yeah, yeah, we're done. All right, so, uh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> no, it was just, I don't know. Some in inside jokes way back in the day. You guys wouldn't get it. All right, so here we go, moving on. Oh, yes, a transaction. Well, good thing, man. Here we go, withdraw bells. Okay, so speaking of being a bellionaire, um, two million bells just in my savings right now. This is chilling. Uh, should we deposit some bells? Yes, yes, let's deposit some bells. We will, uh, deposit some of these. And it'll be nice, here we go. No, we're withdrawing some bells. Okay, great, yeah, that's fine. Yo, we have, we had lots of money, right? But what did we do with all the money? That's it. That's all we did. <laughs> oh, man, and what's this? Recycling pickup. So you can just trash stuff in here? 
Okay, I don't know, in case you want to, like, get rid of things. Uh, I don't know. Things that you couldn't sell, like a boot, for example. Like, if you went fishing and you did a boot. <laughs> yeah, so we had, like, I'm telling you, I played this game a lot. And having all the bells simply by playing the stock market was really my jam. Um, anyway, let's take a look over here. There's Bunny. Okay, so let's take a look. So we're going to go back. Uh, this is a fishing tournament. Um, yeah, so fishing tournament, kind of cool. Message of the week, high life. The high life is stressful. <laughs> high life? You talking about 2020 high life or a different kind of high life? Weird. All right. So, I don't know what the heck that ugly thing is, um, but yeah, let's hit it. What's up to Fat Cat? Talking about Ring Fit, man. You watched the last episode, right? That'll answer your question. Uh, is this yours? Because I found it right over there. I know it's not mine. Uh, yeah, sure, it's mine. This is like, what is this? Are you wearing a mask? What is Coco? It's not your name. What are you doing? I'm lying to this person. Okay, sorry, I made that person sad. There's Bunny over there. All right, well, I don't care about you. Let's move on. Okay, so here's a rock. Let's take a look. Come on, rock. No. I don't, I don't know if I honestly knew about money rocks back in the day. Look at this beachfront property. Who the heck owns this? Kid Cat. Oh man, Kid Cat has like all of the um like the Nintendo stuff, right? Or is that Bob? Wait, what? Is he moving out or moving in? Long time no see, how's life? You know it's been a while, but you look more dignified. Wait, what? They promoted you to Captain Cool? <laughs> you got something to say to me. Doyoing, uh are you moving out or moving in? I'm out of here. Oh no, Kit Kat's actually the coolest animal. You can't leave me. I got things I gotta do too. Oh man, what a bummer. What a bummer. Kit Kat's going. Oh well. I mean, I haven't seen him in 15 years, so it, it only makes sense. All right, moving on, moving on. Peaches on the beach. Why in the world are there fruits on the beach like that, just on the floor? Did I just not pick them up? Oh, you're coming to see me. You want to say hi? All right, fine. Since you want to say hi, who are you? Ruby? Hey, Dalla. About my ceramic tile. Would you buy it for 30% off? Nah, I need all my money. Sorry. You know, if you had one of these in your house, it'd be so super popular. You just called me Dala. Interesting. Why did you call me that? Who are you? <laughs> Ruby is like a bunny with red eyes. All right, I don't know whose houses these are, but we got some cherry trees. We got some weeds. Dude, we got weeds for days. All right, let's take a look. What else do we have over here? Is there anything good? Let's go to the rock. These houses look really good. What are these four-leaf clovers in a weird fashion? Hold on, that's not natural. That they would, like, grow in a path like that. No, I don't think so. Weird. That can't be natural. Someone's, like, throwing, like, clovers down or something. All right. Wait, hold on. I see a tent. Do you guys see that? Whose tent is it? Let me know in the comments. Do you guys know? Who has a tent in Animal Crossing Wild World? Was there a tent or was I just seeing things? No. No, I was seeing things. It was just a tree. False alarm. <laughs> I know. Doesn't Crazy Red have a tent in Katrina? All right. Let's go, blue-haired boy. Okay, so as you guys can see over here, we have another orchard full of all these foreign fruits that I would just literally shake and like sell. Oh my gosh, I had so much money from fruits, it's not even funny. So shake and sell, that's kind of what you do. And even, wow, apples on the ground. Man, almost looking like a fool with these apples on the ground. All right, here we go. I'm gonna find a money rock. 
mind you, I want to confirm to see if it exists. Oh, yeah, baby! Money! Yeah, wait! Because the stupid weeds are in the way. Oh, that's lame. Dang. Dang. That's lame. I didn't realize. I thought that if there was an empty space, like, it would throw it, like, a space away or something like that. Well, there we go. Oh, look it. Look it. When people come to my town, they look at my beautiful designs as soon as they walk in. Wow, what a concept. And then uh, they're greeted with apples. Maybe apples was my native fruit, so I, I allowed them to, to take those or something. Weird. There's a pitfall just chilling there. All right. Um, yeah, very interesting. What do you guys say? Should we take a, a tour of the museum? Let's go to the museum. Let's go to the museum. Okay, Blathers, it's been a while. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. And there's paintings. And wait, there's a coffee shop. Hold on, Brewster was in this game? No, yeah? Why do I only remember him in Animal Crossing New Leaf, though? All right, uh, yeah, so this is Blathers. Let's take a look. What, which, uh, which place do you want to go to first? We have the... The very cool um, art area, which I'm sure I have a full 100% one because that was like the cool thing to trade. Be like, hey, I'm coming over to your town. I've got these pictures. Anyone have them? You can reorder them and then you can sell them for mad money. I'm sure I'm 100% on that. Um, the fossils you couldn't sell. Um, and like animals, I don't think you could donate in other people's places, but... All right, well, here we go. Let's go take a look at the... Let's go Let's go to Brewster, right? Let's go say hi to him. Apparently, he's a thing. Yeah, look at him. Look at this guy. And this is where K.K. Slider is, right? Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm remembering. Here, I'm going to take a seat. Care for a cup of Java? Yeah, 200 bucks. What blend? The usual. Cool. I got special house blend. It turned out a little differently. Whatever you say. Care for a little pigeon milk? Huh, yeah. You're gonna be very pleased. In it goes. Pigeon milk. Look at these beautiful graphics, by the way. A hundred and seventy-six degrees. One fresh brewed cup. Drink up. Thanks, I will. The world-renowned Pigeon Blend. Thanks. I don't know if I've actually gotten him to open up to me in this game. You're probably curious about the secret of my special Pigeon Milk. He's a pigeon himself, so no, I'm not. And I don't want to think about it anymore. You see, it's, uh, well... Yeah, never mind. He's clearly a pigeon, and I don't know where he's sourcing his pigeon milk. I'm just going to leave it at that. So that was cool. All right, so let's go take a look at portraits. I swear I have to have this. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So now we're over here inside the museum where I have all of the portraits, ba baby. Yes, I do. I know I do. I'm so confident in this, even though I've never seen this town in 15 years. Pretty cool ones, yeah, look at that. Ooh, dang. Oh, the flower one, whoa. Look at that, that's that lady. There's that thing, look at this one. Oh, cool. You, I know the flower one is very popular. I think that's been in the older Animal Crossing games. That's a knight. Uh, that's the pointillism one, yep, that's something. Cool, look at that, that's another one. Hey, yeah, it's that guy. And then, oh man, paint me. <laughs> The Mona Lisa, what? Yeah, Mona Lisa. All right, that's kind of cool. Is that a cat? I don't know what the heck that is. But no, we got the Mona Lisa, we got the uh, the Washington one, and I don't know, but if anyone can actually name every single one of these paintings of what they're based on, you are a very cultured person. I probably can only name the Mona Lisa. 
and maybe that pointillism one, but that's it. That's cool. I think that's really cool. All right, next exhibit. Let's go to the, we're gonna say the best for last, which is gonna be the dinosaur one. All right, so here's the boring bug room. No one likes this room. It's not exciting. It's just stupid butterflies all over the place. There's just 20 different types of butterflies that no one cares about. So there we go, cool butterflies, right? And maybe a cockroach. Oh my gosh. Dear patrons, this cockroach, this cockroach is a thoughtful donation. Please do not step on it. Did I just step on a cockroach? <laughs> All right, so here we go. We got some other bugs and uh, yeah. So this is cool because it expanded into two different rooms with all of the different bugs, so that's great. Now, in Animal Crossing New Horizons, there's three rooms in each of the exhibits, so I'm excited to see what that looks like. Let's go inside the aquarium, and we'll save the dinosaurs for last. All right, look at these fish. All right, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. What is that noise? Fish make noises? Weird. Oh, cool. Look at that one. And then that's your uh, your Arapaima, right? What's up, Coding With? How are you? Welcome. Got another brand new member. Thank you so much. I hope you're as excited as I am for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Get on board this member train right now because we are going to have a great time when the game comes out on the 19th. Yeah. Anyway. Coding with Autism, thank you so much for coming, man. This is great. Tell me what your favorite fish is, and maybe I have it. Holy moly, I do have a shark. I don't remember ever catching that shark. Or the football fish, and the marlin. Look, we got some really cool fish over here. And a hammerhead shark, dang. Uh, did someone else donate them? Red snapper, look at that. Okay, and then like there's a little octopus. Uh, octopus, football fish, tuna, blue marlin, a hammerhead shark, and a regular shark. Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, I, I, apparently I did catch them. It doesn't say like donated by, so maybe I did? I don't remember. Cool, right? All right, here we go, ladies and gents. It's happening. This is the exhibit you've been waiting for. The Dinosaurs Fossil Fighters Frontier. So you guys can see over here, Fossil Fighters Frontier. We got we got your Triceratops, fully completed, mind you. You got the T-Rex, the opening gesture. And it's not segmented either, right? It's not segmented. This is just like, hey, it's like an organic full thing. In the GameCube one, they were like segmented into like the different pieces. But no, this is absolutely it. So that's cool. Look, it's Rampardos. Great, great. Oh, look at that. The Apato. Oh, remember the Plesio skull that we needed or something? And here's like the little, um, the built-in little fossils in the ground. And let's take a look at what's in the back. I don't even remember. Even more. Whoa. Okay, it's like I can't even see them. Let me just zoom out, yeah? Okay, there, that's a little bit better, but it's like super... I don't know, there's a stegot uh, Stegosaurus. That's pretty cool. Brontosaurus. Nice. Wow, and what is this gigantic one? This is the biggest one in the exhibit. Seismosaur? Whoa. Cool. Yeah, I think that's great. I can zoom in a little bit. You can kind of see them for what it is. But no, that's a 100% dinosaur exhibit. Looks really cool. Okay, next. Uh, there's one more thing, right? There's one more thing to do inside this museum. Now, keep in mind that the museum is fully expanded from the previous iteration of Animal Crossing. There is a uh, an entire area where you go downstairs and get some coffee. And then there's an entire upstairs. So we got uh, Ulravold. I hope I pronounced that right, but you like Splatoon and I like Splatoon too. So, hey, welcome. Thanks. Dude, we got a whole bunch of members coming. You guys are helping out. We're going to get some cool stuff happening for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Just you wait. That's going to be in less than what? Less than 10 days? Seven days? Yeah, man. It's happening. Anyway, Uravold. Welcome. Let's do some hype emojis for that. Thank you. 
Okay, so hold on a second. We have we have the uh, niece. What's her name? Celeste. Ah. Oh, dear me, hootie toot. I beg your pardon. I was just resting my eyes. I was not napping. No, I was not. My brother may sleep on the job, but I do not. Oh, I've logged ever so many constellations. Be sure to check them all out, won't you? What is... I'm trying to remember what the heck a constellation is in this game. Look through the telescope. What is it that interests you? Tell me, would you like to make another constellation? Or would you rather change a constellation you already created? I don't know. Certainly, always glad to have a new site. What the heck is this? What did you do? <laughs> what is this? It's clearly a coincidence that three triangles. And apparently hearts. <laughs> Wow. Wow. That's funny. <laughs> I wonder what I called it. Let's go stargazing. Do you want to look at the constellations or just check uh, their peak viewing times? No, let's look at them. Ouroboro. This is called the Superstar. This one's called Triforce. This one's called Pegasus. This one's called Abdallah and Jess. Aww, how cute. Wow, we made a constellation together. Look at that. Orion's belt. What's this? The Super S. And this is a dragon, right? What is this? I don't know. It's some weird thing that doesn't have a name. Oh, this is Ouroboro. That's so cool. Shed a tear from that. What a romantic, right? What a romantic, naming a constellation after us. How brilliant. All right, I'm gonna erase it now. It never existed. Oh, that was kind of cool. Yeah, so that's that constellation. And apparently in the game, because remember at the beginning of the stream, I showed you guys that like the top screen is literally the sky the entire time. Um, so that is going to be at nighttime where you're going to be able to see those different constellations at different peak viewing times, apparently. Anyway. Okay. Oh my gosh, if it isn't Sahara, the rare event that you come over here and you get rare carpets from Sahara. Sahara being a camel. Camel being it of the... Um, uh, I don't know, like Mid-Eastern kind of habitats in the deserts, carpets, magic carpets, kind of uh, an allusion to that. So here's Sahara. Yeah, uh, no, I'm not about to do deliveries, but um, no, I'm just going to hold on to this myself. <laughs> Take it to Mabel. I know where Mabel is, but I don't want to, I'm not, I don't want I don't work for you. Sorry. I work for myself. I'm in the I'm in the business of uh, turnips. Sorry, I don't work for you. I got I got bigger fish to fry. Like finding our money rock. Oh, we did find our money rock, and we ruined it because of the stupid weeds. So all the more reason to keep your weeds uh, under control, right? So what else is there, guys? Hey, Tangy. Hi. It's been forever. Like hi. It's Abdallah. Hey, I have something that t I totally need to ask you. Uh, you have a sec, please? Yeah, sure. Yay, that's so super great. Oh, yeah, I suppose I should ask you, Taco. Okay, Abdallah, what do you think of me when we first met? I don't know, cute. What? Do you seriously think so? Seriously, Taco? Oh, my gosh, I'm so totally shocked. I think I might faint or something. All right, well, at least I made you happy over there, right? <clears throat> did I say hi to Chief yet? I don't think I did. Whose house is this? This has to be Chief's house. Tangy's house. Okay, no wonder. Uh, let's see. Let's see. There's a rock. This has to be Chief's house. Pudge. Pudge is a bear, isn't he? 
Where's my favorite villager chief? I need to go say hi to him now. Okay, so let me know in the comments. Is there anything else you want to see before we end off the live stream? Um, I'm I'm down to just like hard reset the game, and we could totally troll Mr. Rossetti as the next episode. I don't necessarily want to start a new file because I I don't have multiple save files on this Nintendo 3DS. I don't think that's a thing. It's Coco's house. What do you guys want to do? Let me know. Speak now or forever hold your pieces. Tangy Chief's house. Chief's house is... Oh, oh, we're going to Chief's. We Chief, my guy. This is my favorite villager. He was in the Animal Crossing on GameCube. He followed me over here to this one. What's up, dude? This is my guy right here. Guess who gave you that bug? Hey, I heard all about you. You ate lemon ice and skipped out on the tab. And that started your 12-month long crime spree, right? What a crazy story. Wait a second. Are you on the lamb right now? Um, anyway. Uh, I'm bored. I think Kid Cat is like cream pie that's come to life. Yeah, when you see Kid Cat, don't you want to do something? Yeah, I want to uh, say, why are you leaving me? I'm going to take a little nap over here. So what I also noticed is that the game doesn't necessarily say, hey, you've been long, you've been gone for like 200 plus months. Like it doesn't keep track of that, which is an interesting change, right? Like Animal Crossing New Leaf does, the original Animal Crossing does. None of these guys have mentioned anything about that. So kind of curious as to why they skipped out on that. Really, really interesting. Okay, so yeah, I don't really see any new suggestions in the comments. I'm gonna look. Uh, I'm gonna look over here. Uh, new villager, starting a new file. Okay, make pathways. No, it's not really something that I want to do right now. I guess the real question is, what happens when we start a new town from scratch, right? With Animal Crossing over here, like what will happen? Will it auto save over my file? I don't know. I don't know. And then, oh, there's a train, right? Can I connect to the internet? <laughs> 15 years in the future, we're, we're <laughs> with a different internet, right? Where is there even a train station? I, I oh, there is, there is a train station. Let's go take a look. I don't know if you can, like, honestly visit another town in the year 2020. Isn't the Nintendo NFC, not NFC, uh, WFC Wi-Fi connection, isn't that thing gone? Back with like Mario Kart DS? I don't know. Let's see. Welcome to my town. I don't know. We'll try it. A dungeon. What's up, guys? Let me, uh, oh, uh, what can I do for you? I'm going to, um, I, I don't know how to connect to the internet. You guys remember how? Okay, so Sahara's here. Do you connect? I want to go out. Choose DS to DS or choose Nintendo WFC. Uh, let's go to the internet. The Nintendo WC configuration don't match, I'm afraid. I can't allow you to connect. Do you want to update? Yeah, go ahead. Sure, go for it. Yo, who's got this game and wants to connect to the internet right now? I will visit your town, I swear I will. I'm coming. Or maybe I should open my gates. Whoa. Connecting to... I don't think it's gonna work. No, I don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, like, I'm sure there's, like, so many other, like, little settings that I'd have to take a look at. I'd be honestly surprised if this worked. Yeah, there we go. So, like, remember that little NFC dongle? That little USB NFC dongle that you put into your computer and then it would broadcast and uh, WFC. Nah. Oh, okay. Uh, let me just uh, let me just get on my phone here and uh, and dial up one eight hundred eight nine. 
what would actually happen if I called that number right now? Should we do it? I think we should do it. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool. What happens if we call this number in the USA and Canada? I'm calling it, man. I'm going right now. 1-800-895-1673. We're calling it, man. It's here. Hi. Thank you for calling Nintendo. Let's connect you to a specialist quickly. Let's get started. Para asistencia en español, oprima el número 9. For Nintendo Switch, press 1. For parental controls, or to check the status of an order or repair, press 2. For problems connecting to the internet or Netflix, or help with system updates, press 3. For help with accounts, transferring games and content between systems, <laughs> or billing and prepaid card issues, press 4. For troubleshooting, setting up a repair, or for questions about features and compatibility, press 5. For questions about my Nintendo, Nintendo eShop, Nintendo... It's the, it's the rerouted number to Nintendo's, like, help desk or whatever. For Nintendo DS... Please hang up the phone right now. We don't support that anymore. What are you doing calling us? <laughs> so that actually works. That's so crazy. That is awesome. So call that number and you can talk to Nintendo. Um, or you can go to www.nintendowifi.com. What? Hold on. Hold on. That's not a thing. Is it? What is it going to reroute us to? <laughs> oh no, look, look. <laughs> www.nintendowifi.com. And then that like code is there. So like it, it's just not a site anymore. I'm trying to get help in my game, man. I just bought this brand new game. I want someone to help me connect online. I'm 15 years late to the party. But uh, no, no, that does uh, absolutely does not work. So there's that. Womp womp. Misinformation. Uh, no, no. I mean, I don't think it's going to work, but... Invite guests. Unless it could. Okay, so DS to DS could work. Let me see. What happens if I choose this and just open up my gates? No, you can't. I just can't do it. It's not. Um, there's no connectivity here. There's no. You gotta like search for the like the right Wi-Fi thing, and I don't have my little USB dongle. Even though I remember, I took a picture of it and tweeted it out. I don't know if you guys remember that. I was going through all my old stuff, and um, I said, "Any of you guys remember what this is?" And then I took the picture. How many of you guys remember that tweet? It was the Nintendo WFC connector, and that was when. Yeah, it was right right around high school. Yeah, a little bit after high school when I was in college. I would play Mario Kart online, Mario Kart DS online. I would play Animal Crossing online. It was just the coolest thing. Anyway, welcome, D-Man Nikolai. I hope I got that right. Thanks so much for becoming a member today. Hey, everyone, welcome, Nikolai. All right, so out of here. We're going to say no thanks. Okay, so I think I'm done with that. We tried to get out of the town, but Booker and Copper over here do not allow us to do that because we're 15 years late to the NFC party, WFC party. Um, and yeah, I get to show off my little patterns over here. So yeah, that was awesome. So that's interesting. There's some money bags on the ground that we absolutely don't need because I'm upset we didn't collect our actual money rock this time around because the weeds were in the way. Uh, I think we're done. I don't honestly know if there's anything else. Uh, right now, I'll give you guys one more moment to express something that you'd want to do in this town, just to kind of see if there's anything there. I talked to a couple villagers. The villagers are, aren't really shocked because they don't keep a track of time of how long you've been away, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, that, that's really going to be it. I don't know, man. Going fishing, ah, uh, it's boring. I don't really want to. What else is there? Uh, Resetty Troll is gonna be another live stream, well, we'll do that. I don't really know how many different things he's got, but I am going to, like, quit this game without saving. 
if that makes any sense. <laughs> and then we're going to find out what he has to say um, next time. Or uh, Yeah, I'm not going to save because I got this stupid haircut and I don't like it. <laughs> and I just picked up my Christmas tree. So I think that's going to be it. We'll do a couple more funny things. We'll mess around with the end of time. I know you guys are curious of the end of time. Uh, we'll go find out what exactly the end of time is. We'll make that a video um, in the reset each roll thing. And then I honestly have to see what's involved with um, with starting a new file. If you start a new file, will it automatically erase it? Or you, can you play a new file without saving and then revert back to your old one? These are the questions that I have for it, to be honest. So I'm just going to quit right here. Um, I'm going to see what options there are at the beginning. So let's just kind of get an idea of what's there. Best background. Any Yokai Watch fans? Hands up. <laughs> Best background, man. There, Bob? I had Bob. What's he doing here? Yo, Bob's the best. Hello. You came to play, did you? I did. Ooh, what's, what is there? Other things. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Other things. Rebuild town. Erase resident. Immigration. Thanks, immigration. Look for a player to move in now. Oh, no, 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 no. That's funny. No. So if you had, if you had like your DS and you wanted to move to someone's town, you can immigrate yourself over there. New resident tag mode. I don't know what tag mode is. You need to buy a note in a bottle and release it in order to start tag mode. Okay. What brings you here today? Rebuild town. Oh my gosh. Let me see what this says. If you rebuild the town ultra, as you know, it will be gone forever. Everyone who lives here, all the stuff they've collected, poof, gone. And it will never come back. So you really want to get rid of Ultra? No, absolutely I don't. No, I love this town. Oh, man, that was close. All right, so that's what Rebuild Town was. Yeah, there's no starting a new town. You have to get, like, another game. And then just jump in and say, hey, you know, this is what the game is. But you guys have seen me start a new town in Animal Crossing regular on GameCube, right? It's going to be the exact same thing. Working for Tom Nook, finding the money rock, time traveling, grabbing the fruits. You've seen it. It's rinse and repeat. Uh, so that's interesting. So you can't do like multiple saves, of course. And then Wi-Fi settings, I don't know anything about. So that's it. Let's try one more time. Let's not. And I just want to sit here and watch Bob. Okay, guys. That's it. That's it for Animal Crossing uh, Wild World. This game was interesting. Um, uh, the, the thing that I love most about this live stream that we did over here is I got to show you my house. And I got to show you the whole turnips thing, which was like the best way of making money. We got like almost 3 million bells in the bank. And I stopped playing. I stopped playing. I had some pretty good, pretty good memories for sure. So what are we going to do tomorrow? You guys want to, uh, want to troll Rossetti? I think that'd be pretty cool. We could totally do it and see what he does. I don't know if the reset surveillance center is in here, but we can myth bust that to see if it's available. And uh, we can actually do the end of time countdown again, which was also very fun. So look forward to that. I think that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And then the next day we'll start off Animal Crossing City Folk, which is a game that I have to start from scratch. I've never played it before. And then we do Animal Crossing New Leaf for a couple days and Animal Crossing New Horizons is right there. So thanks for watching. All right, guys, you guys are amazing. Good crowd, good crowd today. We had five new members come on board. Thank you so much for being here. That, that's truly awesome. So again, if you guys wanna become a member, click on the join button on my main channel page. We're gonna do a lot of members only stuff for Animal Crossing, such as inviting you guys into my town. So make sure you guys are on top with that. Um, join our Discord if you guys did not do that. It's absolutely free to do that. And we do have some Animal Crossing pages that we're gonna be developing in the uh, next upcoming days. A page about turnip prices, a page about uh, trading items and all that stuff. It's going to be really fun. So thanks for being here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Animal Crossing Wild World, 15 years in the future. If you guys did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for the latest and greatest Animal Crossing content on YouTube. We'll see you guys tomorrow right around the same time for Trolling Mr. Rossetti. It'll be great. See you later.